Golf balls ain't cheap. Averaging over three pound a ball for top of the range brands, a bad round can get very expensive. Now of course you can buy used golf balls and save a third of the price, but what if you just cut out the middleman and just search for them ourselves? So I've seen a trend of people using UV torches to find balls and getting very successful results. So I headed to Amazon, bought a torch, got zipped up and headed to the course. I have literally just walked down one hole. One hole and got all of those. So I'm literally out here by myself because I could not convince my missus to come with me. So I've literally just been down one hole and got about 20 balls. It's absolutely crazy how much balls light up with these. This is the torch that I'm dealing with. I got it off Amazon, I'll link it below. It's waterproof, it's got three different settings and it is an absolute beast. That is one of the settings can shoot it low like that literally see it in the sky strobe light got your UV wide angle which is amazing for finding balls in bushes and then you can narrow it down when you're trying to focus on one ball but literally there's more than 20 balls in there this is a lot more fun than I expected a little scary doing it by myself but what's the worst that can happen get mounted by a deer or I suppose Halloween is coming up so that is kind of quite scary but just think of all the balls we're gonna get let's get into it haha <laughs> see look there we go look how they just shine and glow up in the dark boom I've just seen one glow in the dark you would never ever find these look down there look can you see them there's another one too easy I've literally only got one bucket with me and the aim was to fill that then go and I've literally done one and a half holes and we're a quarter way there and what you'll be doing is you'll be walking past and all you'll get is just a little glimpse, and they literally just shine out to you boom can you even see that one there's one in there, right in there. You would never in a million years find that. Look at that, incredible. Boom, there's some in there, I can see it. Ah. Ow. One in there. One in there. One in there. All down here. Down this dog leg. All in them trees all the way down there. Look how incredible this torch is. Now, there's some woods over here, which is the other side of the dog leg. I'm gonna go in there, because that's another hot spot. That's the hot spot for the slicers. That's the hot spot for the hookers. Definitely wanna to go to a golf course where you know where you're going and where you know where the hot spots are. Because navigating at night, even though you know the course, is quite hard. These yellow ones glow up the best. Boom. I thought I got one then. It's my socks. It's Christmas. Kind of annoying carrying a camera, carrying a bucket that gets heavier as I go around, carrying my phone, carrying a golf club by myself. It's kind of hard. I'm on the sixth hole and I'm about just under half a bucket full. I'm gonna keep going until I've got a full bucket or... Oh, I can't carry the bucket anymore because it's too heavy. I think I've found a decent spot. Good 
find. <laughs> you will literally find them everywhere. How did you not find that, mate? This is the money hole. Woohoo! Go on! Oh, for God's sake. Don't want to do that again. One hole left. And I've pretty much got a full bucket. If I was going to give you any advice, bring some gloves because you will cut your hands and sting your hands. Bring a bucket. Bring a golf clubs just in case there's some that you can't reach and have fun. And if you've got friends who are willing to do it, come with friends. Unlike me who's a loner and just came by me sen. I've lost a lot of golf balls to this golf course, so it's nice to get some back. I do want to come again without the camera because that would just got in the way. The bucket is absolutely heavy as hell. It's hurting my arm. Three quarters full. Fair enough, they're not all gonna be Pro V1s and Grey Day. Most of them may be practice balls. But at least I'm sorted now for a very long time <sighs> with practice balls. Highly recommend doing this. If you've enjoyed this video though, give it a thumbs up because I'm knackered. I didn't quite get killed by a deer or molested, although there is time from when I put this camera down. But give this video a thumbs up. Get your center UV stick, light, whatever. I'll put the link for mine in the description below. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.